sucks about that the most is I'm not super awake. Like, I feel like crap. And it happens like that a lot because I didn't sleep well because I've been stuck here for two, for three days. Anyway, I need to get dressed. Get the cobwebs out of my eyes and get down the road. <laughs>
So I'm not real concerned about how far I get today. I just want to get to where I'm in with, within one day, one shift of driving. So under 600 miles. Right now I'm 770 miles. I only get 200 miles in. That'll put me you know, 570. And if I feel like going further, I'll go further. But I'm not going to be putting myself in a position where I'm trying to park when everyone else is trying to park. So where I can shut down early today, as long as I shut down within one shot, I can drive through the night shift, get to Oklahoma City in the middle of the day, rather than evening time when I'm everyone else is trying to park, and then I can go deliver that load the next morning and still have fresh hours so when I'm done delivering I can go do some more stuff. If they have anything else for me to do, once I'm empty. doesn't feel that heavy pulling it out of there. I had no problem pulling it out of that hill. So I don't know, maybe they're overestimating how much it weighs. They do that a lot. A lot of times my bills will say like 42, 43,000, I'll go weigh it and like the whole truck doesn't even weigh 60,000 pounds. Like that load is not 42,000 pounds. I don't know where they get that number sometimes. Gasoline's expensive. These, three forty-nine dollars a gallon, sometimes even more. And finding a place to fill them up is kind of few and far between, especially in the winter. The summertime kicks in, more of the uh, water spigots will be available, but They shut off the water supply to a lot of those places in the winter so they don't freeze up and explode. Right. Let's see how far I can make it instead of stopping this next loves for a few, oh, see if I can make it to the next place. Definitely make it down to, I think it's Waynesville or Williamsville. Either way, it's about 120 miles down. I can definitely make it there to that loves. And that'll also probably be where I park for the day so I can 
uh, roll tonight instead of driving through daytime traffic. That'll be around almost three. I don't want to go stay out much longer than that and then end up with nowhere to park. So I'll just park there, roll off the 10 at like one in the morning, drive through St. Louis and all that at night, and then get close to Oklahoma City tomorrow afternoon. sense of me driving through St. Louis today during daytime traffic if I can sit here and roll out tonight and miss all the traffic. Watch the old play. Look here bud you got this whole pasture you can go run. Let's find you a stick or something. Damn truck has a freaking bullseye on it or something. It's like the third time I've been hitting this truck sitting in a parking lot. Of course I was pissed so I didn't have the forethought to keep recording when I caught up with the guy. He went all the way around. I thought he was leaving. So I was going to go chase him down. There's no chance I'm going to go to sleep now. One thing, these freaking international mirrors ain't no joke. They, they fell right in. I mean, you did a little damage to it. But they're still stable. And scratched up the back. If it could do any damage, it was like not worth talking about, but you still don't hit somebody and run off like that. Like, I didn't know what damage had been done and you were already taken off. Oh, I was just going around. It's like, that's not how that shit works. How long you've been driving the truck? Said eight years. It's like, then you know better. So I don't even know. I can't even tell if he was backing out or pulling out. I can't. Remember. Can't even remember. He had to have been trying to back in because what? Nobody parked over there when I pulled in here this afternoon. I still have five hours. I need to sit here to get my hours back. I'm wound up now. Jump up and get my clothes on. Go chase this dude across the parking lot. That's two hours later now since I'm not going to get any damn sleep because that dude woke me up. I had just dozed off and that dude woke me up. Hit my truck. I've only been here for about eight hours but I'm not going to get any sleep now. If I go to sleep now I won't get up. So, I'm changing my plan up a little bit. Oh, where's my hat? I need to cut this crap off, I think. Anyway, changing my plan up a little bit. I'm just gonna get down. I've got, uh, what is it? Seven and a half hours of drive time I can do. I'm pretty sure I can get to at least to Joplin maybe to Big Cabin, Oklahoma. And then I'll just park there until I'm ready to head to Oklahoma City. Or I'll park there, take a two hour nap, three hour nap, and then drive to Oklahoma City. Either way, there's no sense in me sitting here 
for another two hours, wait for my full clock to get back, just so I'm two hours more exhausted by the end of the day. Freaking truck stops, man. Like, there was no reason for that guy to hit me at this truck stop. It wasn't a hard, it's not a tight, like, closed space parking lot. It's just a... Still irritated by it. This is the third time I've been hit in this truck since I've gotten it. It's like it's got a freaking bullseye on it. Run over here to the fuel island and fill up these tanks before I start my clock here, or when I start my clock here. It's like this freaking truck is going to be so beat to hell by the time I actually buy it. People can't stop hitting it. I'll stop being irritated about it at some point today, I'm sure. Maybe tomorrow. damage was a little bit worse than I originally thought. I'll get some epoxy when I got time to jack with it and see if I can't get it pulled together. Just parked in the middle of the aisle. Just right in the middle of everything. Can I even get out of this damn place? I can barely fit through here. seen people park in some stupid places but I don't that's that's beyond the pale. I'm not ready for bed. Find somewhere to park. Obviously not this place but getting close to morning time so hopefully I find something here.
quarter mile, merge onto I-44. You're gonna break my pinky, but hey. Huh. Did not make it to Oklahoma. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. I might take a little bit of a nap here and then try to get into Oklahoma, or I might just stay here. I don't know. It'd help if I had a pre plan and knew what I was doing tomorrow. I could actually plan my day without fearing that I'm going to affect tomorrow. If I take a full 10 here, it'll be 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon when I'm getting Oklahoma City. What time is it now? It's 4, be around 6. I could do that. I'll probably take a 10 here, get some good sleep. I'm, I'm tired enough, I'll be able to get a good night's rest. And then uh, I won't get all the way to Oklahoma City. I'll get past Tulsa, find somewhere to park just on the other side of Tulsa. And then, uh, you know, be an hour or so from Oklahoma City. Because I don't park in Oklahoma City unless I have to. Like, I don't park in Chicago if I don't have to. I don't park in Houston if I don't have to. Like, it matters. I park in the middle of nowhere and still get hit. I'm still not over that. All right, buddy, it's cold. Let's go. Are you going to attack me? Oh, he's aggressive. He's aggression. Oh, goodness. Oh, he's got my foot. <laughs> you just my foot. You sit. You wait. Load up. He's a good boy. It's one of the cheesiest songs ever, but it gets stuck in my head all the time explain my logic here. I have two sets of keys. This one is just my truck key and my padlock key, which I hardly ever use by the way. And this one is the one I keep on my pants. It's got truck key, padlock key, and my house key. This one goes on my pants comes off my pants unless I'm switching pants where I take it immediately off and put it on a belt loop because I have locked myself out of my truck twice <laughs> because it is not a habit of mine and no matter how many times I've tried to make it a habit of mine to take the key out of the ignition and get out because sometimes when I'm getting out to get fuel and stuff I intend to get right back in so it's like it's just not a habit tried making it a habit more than once and then I tried making it a habit of just always having an extra set of keys in my pocket the problem with that is is you go to change pants and it's not like rattling around and 
super exposed, it's deep in your pocket, you can forget about it. It's hard to forget about this thing hanging off your belt loop. So when you take your pants off, it's making all that noise so you remember to grab it and pull it off there. I want to get a third key made and hook it somewhere in the truck, on the outside of the truck, just in case somehow I lose that key and still get locked out. Now, I actually know how to pick locks. I got a lock pick set for Christmas or something. And I spent like a couple days playing with it and I got pretty good at picking locks. But I don't carry a lock pick set on me at all times, right? So, since we just have a key. If you're new to this channel, which there's a bunch of you that are. This will be the first time you've seen my insomnia <laughs> kicking in. I've been up since yesterday morning at nine o'clock, it's noon. I still haven't been able to fall asleep. But I just did just get a phone call from the shop where I left. And I was trying to get my air suspension dump system fixed when I was there. And the mechanic said, oh, we can order the parts, but, you know, it's on back order. We have no idea when it's going to get here. It could be months. Okay, so we just kind of left it at that. And I was like, well, can we order the parts and hold them here? He's like, oh, I don't know, maybe. It was like basically left open-ended, so I didn't know I was going to get anything done. And it just called me. It was like, hey, uh... You can go ahead and pull up to doc, uh, the shop bay number two. I'm like, dude, I'm in Missouri. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay then. I said, well, let's not leave it there. You have the parts to fix what I need fixed, and we need to get routed back through there. So, I mean, I've been waiting to get this freaking air suspension dump fixed for a year, and now we finally have the parts we need to get it fixed. I need to get routed back through there. And now that I know that we're getting right back through there, I'm going to give them a call too and have them order the freaking steps that need to be fixed on that passenger side so that those will finally get fixed. And I'll have them fix the freaking mirror too that that guy just broke. But it'll be the next time we get through Juliet. So who knows? It might be a few weeks still, or it could just be a couple days. We'll see. But. At least I know they have the parts now waiting on me.